All righty, welcome back. Happy Thursday morning. Overall, not looking too bad across parts of the, of the Northwoods this morning. Here's a look at Marathon County, actually. US 51 and County in. Lots of traffic out already this morning. And the only issue you might encounter is some areas of dense fog. But for now, I've zoomed the Skycam into the courthouse, which is still beautifully lit up since it's still dark outside. It's a calm start across the Northwoods this morning. Maybe a few passing clouds, but more so, we're just watching for areas a dense fog from Rhinelander to Eagle River to Lando Lakes and areas further off towards the east and even in parts of the UP they're dealing with areas of dense fog this morning that will all go away as we get some sunshine out and about but for now we are watching some active weather on the way across parts of Minnesota showers and thunderstorms developing here this morning tracking from the south and west going to the north and east again very scattered in nature they will be weakening as they move in our direction but an isolated storm or two or three could move in later on today, so that's why we have a slight chance in the forecast. The main area of low pressure is moving into parts of Canada now, but of course it's stretching across other parts of Canada and the parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and also in the parts of Missouri. So here's kind of the bigger picture, and this is a system we will be watching out for. Maybe some isolated storms today and more storms, better opportunities for storms on the way later on tonight. So future cast moving forward. Clouds on the way today. Isolated storm or two could be possible later this afternoon. Then later on tonight, by around 8, 9 o'clock or so, we'll be watching for scattered, strong, and severe thunderstorms that will be possible. They will move out rather quickly, so by early Friday morning, things will be a lot calmer. A few clouds, maybe some fog early on, too. And then maybe some isolated showers by Friday afternoon. Those get out of here pretty quickly. A lot of other spots will see some sunshine. And then by Friday night and the parts of Saturday morning, we're still looking rather good. Maybe a little bit of energy to watch out for as we head towards Saturday morning. We'll keep an eye on that. But for now, looking like a nice day for your Saturday. As as for the severe threat, there is that slight risk here for the areas highlighted here in the yellow. That could mean large hail and damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado for those areas. Our threat's a little bit lower at the darker green, where a marginal threat is up, so gusty winds and hail still a possibility, along with heavy downpours, so we'll keep an eye on this threat coming up later on tonight. But for now, we need rainfall. We've been abnormally dry in our neck of the woods lately. In fact, a lot of the U.S. dealing with some kind of drought right now, and we will have a new drought monitor coming out later on today, and I do expect it to actually get worse across our neck of the woods but for now still showing abnormally dry across parts of Wisconsin and also in the parts of the UP but fortunately there is some rain in the forecast which is good news. We have temperatures right now in the lower 60s in Minocqua, other spots in the lower 50s like Eagle River, upper 40s and Lando Lakes, some more 50s further down to the south and warmer temperatures further off towards the west. Our average high temperature keeps ticking down at 68 degrees. We'll feel like summer for a few more days today, tomorrow and a Saturday in the upper 70s to lower 80s then by Sunday and beyond, we'll be in the middle to upper 60s, about average for this time of the year, and just in time for fall. Fall actually arrives Sunday. Temperatures look to cooperate just in time for fall. And dew points will be out there for just a little while longer. They'll be on the increase later on today through parts of Friday and a lower to middle 60s. There is a legend right about in here. Then maybe a quick increase as we head towards your Saturday, and maybe we might be done with the muggy meter for the season. We'll have to see how that plays out. But another graphic I have not dug out in a while is the gust Gusty winds graphic. We will have gusty winds today up around 20 to 25 miles per hour at times today. Maybe backing off later on tonight, but of course by tomorrow, more gusty winds possibly up to 20 miles per hour at times. So for today, party cloudy, some isolated storms at times. Highs in the upper 70s, two lower 80s, and a south wind getting up to around 25 miles per hour. Later on tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some could get on a stronger side at times. Keep an eye on this with lows in the upper 50s and a south wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour at times. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast. Slight chance for a shower or two on Friday. Otherwise, a lot of sunshine, few passing clouds. Temperatures in the upper 70s. For now, Saturday looks nice. Lots of sunshine temperatures in the lower 80s. Some showers do move in just in time for the first day of fall on Sunday. Those showers continue Monday to Tuesday as we cool off. And then Wednesday, party cloudy and still rather cooler.